Welcome back to the Ed Bug Show. Real talk, real people. We're talking about sex education and, and where it should be taught. A moment ago, I told you that many parents are uncomfortable talking about their children about sex. That's not uncommon. But parents who have frank and open discussions with their children, beginning when they're young, have greater success. Of course, there is what's called age-appropriate sex education. And parents, that simply means you don't talk with a 10-year-old about sex on the same level at which you talk to a 17-year-old. So relax, get the information, and make it clear to your child why they need to know this. And, and, and one other thing, it's okay to tell your child you're a little nervous talking with them about sex. Remember, this is a process, not an event. What about you? Do you feel children should be taught about sex education at home, at school, or both? Let's go back now to the streets of America to hear from more people, people just like you. I think it's a combination of both. You learn basic biology in school, but it needs to be brought home and on a personal level because some people want their children to know more than others, and it depends on their religious beliefs, too. Now let's go to more of your emails sent to us at ed at edbugs.com. Again, that's ed at edbugs.com. Number one, Reverend Fontenot writes, Ed, this is what's wrong with the world today. Children should be taught about sex at home. That learning in a group at school, that's no good. The Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he won't stray. Uh, Reverend Fontenot, I respect you, and I certainly appreciate your email, but you're wrong. If enough parents could and would teach sex education to their children at home, you might have a point. But pastor, not nearly enough parents are doing the job. Our next email is from Cal who writes, Ed, I'm leery of letting my children learn sex education at school. I've heard they show children how to put a condom on a banana and stuff. I don't want my children learning that. If they learn that in school, they might try it in real life. No, you let me teach my children what they need to know. When it's time, I'll tell them. And finally, this email from Donnie who writes, thank goodness for sex education at school, Ed. Without it, I wouldn't know anything. I'm from one of those homes you talked about earlier where parents were too uncomfortable to talk about sex education with their children. I don't resent my parents, but it sure would have helped if they could have taught me things sooner. I was out there for years on what I picked up in the streets, and that's nothing. It's dangerous out there, Ed. Young people need to know what to do and what not to do. Thanks. And thank you, Donnie. And remember, you can always shoot us an email at ed at edbugs.com. So, what about you? Do you feel children should be taught about sex education at home, at school, or both? Tough questions, tough answers. You're watching The Ed Bugs Show. Real talk, real people. We'll be back. It is going to be one of the most memorable days of your lives. And now you can hold those precious moments from that day forever with Action Digital Video Artist. We offer a variety of packages that we hope would meet your budget and exceed your expectations. Our award-winning staff with combined years of experience allows us to customize your wedding video with creative imagination call today. Welcome back to the Ed Bug Show. Real talk, real people. We're asking the question, do you feel children should be taught about sex education at home, at school, or both? Now, I want to talk to those of you watching right now, and your lips are tight and your arms are folded and you're not comfortable with this conversation. I know you're out there. On my radio show, we talk about this all the time, and people just like you call me. You can't accept for the life of you why teenagers need sex education. I know there are people who are still living in the 1960s, and this entire subject is still, still offensive to them. Well, let me help you out. Here is why it's mandatory that children be taught sex education, and I want you to listen to this very carefully. Kids need the right information to help protect themselves. Look, here in this country, the U.S., we have more than 
double the teenage pregnancy rates of any Western industrialized country. Double. In fact, we have more than a million teenagers becoming pregnant in America every year. Did you hear me? A million. The bottom line is they are sexually active. I'll tell you something else. In my opinion, there's no way you're going to listen to today's music. There's no way you're going to wear what children are wearing today and youngsters are wearing today. There's no way you're going to watch these videos and not be sexually active. There is absolutely no way that's going to happen. Something else, sexually transmitted diseases or STDs are highest among teenagers than they are in any age group. In fact, one in four, 25 percent of young people today are contracting an STD by the age of 21. 21 years old, 25 percent of them. This is very serious and there is more. Sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV, which causes AIDS, can damage teenagers' health and can damage their ability to have children. And remember, remember this, there is still no cure for AIDS. And for the record, HIV infections increasing most rapidly among young people. So, do you still question why teenagers and youngsters must get sex education from school, home, or somewhere? I'm adamant about this. Too many teenagers are making bad decisions and lives are affected because they are not getting the sex education they must have. So, do you feel children should be taught about sex education? At home? At school? Or both? And when should it begin? Let's go back now to more of the people we talked with about these very same questions. People just like you. Ideally, it would be taught at home, but we have so many teen pregnancies that obviously somebody's dropping the ball. Ideally, it would be taught in both places. I think because of the high rate of teen pregnancy, it's a responsibility of the school system to teach it. We have children who are having children. Uh, obviously, they didn't have great role models as parents, or they would have been a little more responsible about having these children. Actually, I, I feel it should be taught both, but I believe you should be, you should be given the literature before it's presented to the uh, students. When we come back, some closing comments on the questions, should children be taught sex education at home, school, or both, and when to start? And I'll tell you what needs to be changed in sex education programs across America. The Ed Bug Show, real talk, real people.